Oprah. Come, 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 come here, baby. Come here, baby. You asking for relief aid to those poor people in Maui that lost everything. Ain't them your neighbors? Well, so two of Hollywood's favorite are under serious and heavier attack on social media for only trying to do the good thing, trying to help the people of Maui, who, of course, as uh, we've earlier brought you details about the tragic uh, you know, incident that happened, which, uh, of course, saw uh, thousands of people's lives being dis uh, you know, displaced. Well, they were only trying to offer help, but social media say, well, it's absolutely very pathetic to see a billionaire like Oprah Winfrey, and, of course, um, very notable figure like the rock solicitation for uh, you know money just you know to help these people meanwhile they are in a huge capacity to help these people well let's go listen to some of these rants and come back for more you send a donation just click now did I just witness what I think I witnessed Please don't tell me I just saw a billionaire standing next to a multi-millionaire begging the average everyday citizen for donations that can barely get by due to a real life recession, living paycheck to paycheck, barely can pay rent, barely can put food on the table for our families, okay? Living in a real life recession in a country where our president is giving away all our resources, sources, and resources of to another country for money. If you two don't go take your Hollywood elite behinds to your other Hollywood elite friends and politician buddies that got millions like you do and billions and get all that money together and help out Maui, you are out your damn mind. Please don't insult our intelligence like that. And after you guys do all of that, you will have enough money to help the rest of us. Boo. Get out of here with that. The nerve. Oprah. Oprah. Come, 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 come here, baby. Come here, baby. You asking for relief aid to those poor people in Maui that lost everything. Ain't them your neighbors? I mean, you used to be giving away stuff on your show. You get a car. You get a car. You get a car. Why can't you reach into your $2 billion net worth and say, you get relief. You get relief. You get relief. Instead, you down here asking me for money. Back to school just started and we as parents are wiped out. Half of us just got our job back since COVID. I know it's been a long time since you've been broke, but let me just tell you that the prices in the 90s when you was broke are not today's prices, baby. And then you got the nerve to come down here and ask me for money with your own personal bodyguard who's easily worth $800 million alone. I know at least between the two of y'all, y'all can both come up with about $2 million to help your neighbors out. I mean, Oprah, it ain't even like you got to pay a deductible on your insurance because your property wasn't touched. Between you and the president only giving $700 to those poor people, I don't know who worse. Nah, we, we got to get Joe out of there, man. Fucking way is this happening? This fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now. So if you send a donation... There is no way that Oprah Winfrey, a mega billionaire whose house is one of the only houses that didn't burn down in Maui, is coming out here and asking us little folks to donate our money to the victims of the wildfires. There is no way that that's happening. During what can only be described as a modern day Great Depression, when people are losing their own homes and people can't afford to buy their own food right now. Why don't you sell your mansion that seemed to somehow be saved from the wildfires and use that money to give back to the community that you feel so great about? There's another thought. Why don't you pick up the phone and call your best buddy Biden and find out why he's only sending $700 per household to those victims. I don't know if you know this, Oprah, but the government has all of our money. The people has no money. And we feel for the people in Maui. But we know and we learned good and goddamn well that if we donate to this organization, there ain't a person out there that's going to see it. Your promises don't mean squat. Why don't you get on the phone and call up old boy Harvey Weinstein and see if he can donate? Oh, that's right. I forgot. Just when I literally thought Hollywood could not go any lower with their level of out of touchness, y'all just take the cake. What a slap to the fucking face of these victims. What is the matter with you? It's the ratio for me. So I know I'm not the only person that feels this way. Don't you dare donate a cent to that organization. So if you send a donation. Yeah, okay.
Did you know Oprah Winfrey has been securing Maui land like it's a trending bestseller? In just 2023, she invested in a vast 520-acre plot for $3.89 million, then went for another 330 acres at $2.47 million, not to mention the two 10-acre patches she bought in 2022 for $100,000 each. Amidst this real estate surge, a sudden fire happens, destroying homes nearby, but leaving her vast terrains unscathed. Does that ring a bell? Think back to 2017. A deadly fire consumed homes near her Montecito mansion, yet once again, Oprah's property emerged untouched. This was a land grab. Ooh, Oprah donated $10 million of her own money. $10 million that she's going to write off. She would have had to give it to the government anyway. She ain't going to miss it. See, but now she can write that $10 million off. And not only that, she's going to recoup that money through the little organization that she set up for your donations. We have created the People's Fund of Maui. Well, you think she's not going to get that money back? This was 100% a land grab. That's what this was. Doesn't matter if it was arson. Doesn't matter if it was due. Doesn't matter if it was Natural. Bad land management. It was a land grab. Joe Biden and his administration sending just enough money for those people in Lahaina to catch a bus up on out of there. Rumors about the real estate sharks that are walking around. The no media coverage. They don't want you to see what they're doing. Not to mention the kids. There's all these kids missing and nobody's talking about it. Where are these kids as parents? Why are they not talking about it? Are they really missing or are they not missing? Why doesn't Oprah and Dwayne The Rock Johnson get on the ground and go find these kids? Stop slabbing the knob for the elite. They are not who they present themselves to be. They never have been. And I'm sorry. And it sucks. These were people that you looked up to and that you grew up with. And I get it. But people only show you what they want you to see. And Oprah is an evil, evil person. She doesn't care about you. She doesn't care about me. And she sure as shit does not care about the people of Lahaina. You know what she cares about? Their land. Knock it off. I keep seeing videos about The Rock and Oprah raising money for the Maui Fund. My name is Ashley. I've been a professional fundraiser for over 20 years. I think like 25 plus at this point. Let me explain something to you. The word fund means that it is a fund or a bank account, if you will, inside of a nonprofit. A nonprofit is managing it. What nonprofit is it? I will tell you. The Entertainment Industry Foundation. This is a fund. The Maui Fund is within the Entertainment Industry Foundation. I read a lot of 990s on my page. I haven't in a while, but let's look at it. A 990 is the tax return, if you will, uh, that every nonprofit has to submit just like we submit our taxes. And every nonprofit's 990 is open for public inquiry. It literally says that on the 990, open for public inquiry. So let's inquire. When you go to the fund's website, they're saying that they're gonna give $1,200 for each adult who lives in either Lahaina or Kula. I don't know what the duration of that 1200 is, and then you also have to verify that you actually live there. It could be a homeowner or a renter, but you cannot own property there and not live there. You're not gonna be qualified. The form for residents to apply looks great. This is actually a really big deal to implement uh, from a nonprofit perspective. The only thing I don't like, and all these nonprofits do this, none of your business. It's none of your business if anybody's receiving state or federal be uh, benefits. It's not your business. I don't know why nonprofits ask for this data. Here's more information about the fund. I love that they have an accessibility thing down here. You know, if you have trouble filling it out, you need help, you can call this number. That's awesome. Every single nonprofit, as long as they file their taxes, will have a 990 available. You can either go on an IRS website or you can go to ProPublica, which is my personal favorite. Do not go to any of these other websites, in my opinion, because they're just fishing for your address when this is publicly available information. And ProPublica doesn't bug me about that stuff. So this is their tax filing from 2021. These are the salaries of the executives. There are 13 executives that get paid a total of $3,211,292. Listed in the 990, there are 29 individuals that also receive over $100,000 in compensation, which leaves 69 employees left because they state in their 990 they have 98 total employees that leaves 69 employees with an average salary of sixty four thousand five hundred and twenty seven dollars based off what they've said in this video oprah and the rock have created a special fund and every single dollar that is donated to this maui fund that's managed by the entertainment industry foundation is going to go to this cause it's just like setting up a special bank account just for certain expenses. That's really what that means. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, why don't they donate their own money? Y'all are absolutely right. Statistically speaking, 90% of your donations are gonna come from 10% of your donors. 
So I don't know why the public is being asked, uh, but you know, to each his own. I do really like the way that the website is. It's, it's difficult to launch something like this very quickly. So I applaud them for that. But just stop asking for people's personal information about the benefits. If you say you're gonna help everybody, just help everybody and be done with it. It's nobody else's business. Um, if you have any questions, just ask. I haven't covered this in a long time, just, you know, because I do this stuff every day, so I like to talk about other things on my TikToks. But um, I hope that clears it up. If, remember, if you ever hear the word fund, it's not a separate nonprofit. It is a set aside monies that are within a nonprofit that a nonprofit manages. Okay. Did you guys see today the video of Oprah and The Rock today? Those two are so full of shit. Take a look at this video, and then I'm gonna tell you, come back and tell you what I see. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back and forth. I said, I love it. And we have created the People's Fund of Maui that will put money directly in the hands of the people who need it right now and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui, we guarantee. That's right, and I know a lot of people out there, as Oprah and I have been finding, are just uh, having a hard time trusting where the money goes. And right away, with some real immediacy, because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, the number one need is money. Is money, is money. In hand. Let me start by first saying that rock Dude, are you in a coma? Why are you hiding behind Oprah Winfrey? You look like you're asleep. Your head is down. You're docile. You're not angry. You're not pissed off. You're not like, you know, dude, at least, you know, if you want to just go on air, do your fake thing. The people's eyebrow, the people's jam, for the millions. We're going to save everybody. Are you, Oprah is concerned about what's happening in Maui. They're, they're making this video now two to three weeks after the disaster in Maui, but they're concerned. The second thing I want you to see is that Oprah is guaranteeing, it's on her word, the last time I checked, unless the news is lying to me, that Oprah's house wasn't even touched, and Bezos' house wasn't even touched, but she's going to go and guarantee that everybody in Maui because we can, can trust this administration that they're gonna do anything, right? The third thing, Rock says, the people are having a tough time trusting. Well, Rock, why do you think people are having a tough time trusting when $12 billion still hasn't been sent there? But ho, oh, check this out. I just read today that the $12 billion is off the table, but our Fearless leader Joe Biden has approved $95 million because the Republicans wouldn't give up another $25 billion to Ukraine. You two are so full of crap. What else? Rock says the number one need is money. And we need money in hand right now. So my suggestion is Rock and Oprah between the money that you guys are both worth and the money that both of you earn, forget about the crap of this donational thing. Go into your own banks, dip into your own wallet. You guys can come up with a lot more money than 95 million. And then maybe in the good graces, the, uh, the Lord of the God of eyes that he will see that maybe you guys will finally do the right thing. The people still continue to suffer Maui, and the both of you can just put it on this pathetic message saying that you're here, it's a necessity, and you need it now. And that's all I gotta say about that. Midnight, I am out. One, two, three. Woo! Oprah and The Rock are raising money for the people of Maui. And the comments are wilding out. Check this out. We were so concerned about what was happening in Maui that we were texting back and forth. And I read this article that Dolly Parton had given money in her community. And I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, read I these it. comments and right so here. I'm curious how Oprah picked up 870 acres. Why, why doesn't the Oprah and The Rock contribute to this fund? In the hand
yeah. bro. So wait, so you're both highly connected to millionaires so in Hollywood, but instead you're asking the working just click person where you see below, bro, <laughs> and send a donation. That money is going to go to one of many residents who have been displaced in Maui. We guarantee. Yes, it's going to go to the people who want to buy up that land is who it's going to go to, and it's going to go to pillars Here, and blankets. A lot of people out there, as Oprah and I have been finding, are just uh, having a hard time trusting where the money goes, what organ. Why don't you give the money? I smell la, 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 what the rock is cooking on that one. You guys have the money. Give the money. money too. And I help. Uh, in this case, the fund that we created with a lot of hard work from a lot of hardworking people yeah. who all care about these people of Maui, uh, as Oprah was saying, it is a clean, direct, from you, directly to their hands. And right away, with some real immediacy, because as we're finding, as you guys around the world know, with disasters like this, Disasters like this and more to come and more to come. This is only the beginning. The number one need is money. Is money. Is money. And hand. What do you and think? Comment below. Dude. You can't fool me. Alright, so Oprah Winfrey and Dwayne Johnson, you know the guy that plays the same character in every fucking movie, decided to take it upon themselves to ask you for your money to donate to their fundraiser. These motherfuckers are worth millions, if not billions, but they're asking you for your money. Gas prices everywhere is damn near $5. Rent is crazy. Inflation is crazy. We got Sleepy Joe in office. We got a corrupt system, but they want your money. It never cease to amaze me, man. Like, are they doing this shit on purpose? How stupid, like how stupid do you think we are as a people to send the last little bit of money to you motherfuckers fundraiser so you all can write it off in tax and collect and who knows majority of that money that we send it won't even make it to the great nation of Hawaii you can't make this shit up man I'm telling you you can't make this shit up the audacity of these motherfuckers sitting here on video bro <laughs> and Dwayne <laughs> Dwayne just smiling, you know, he's he's doing his little sexy acting, his little sexy, he thinks it's sexy, he's doing his little acting, smiling at the camera and shit, with the little fucking model smile, I don't think nothing funny, I don't think nothing funny, this motherfucker sitting here smiling, I don't think nothing funny, man, that city was destroyed, and this country, countries, on the brink of not only war, but brink of just destruction, nobody can afford nothing. But this motherfucker here, smiling, while she sit there, we're fucking, ah, oh, these motherfuckers, man. ...in her community, and I said, I think this is the answer. You said, I think that's the answer. I said, I love it. And so, we have... These two are getting dragged for this video, and one of the reasons they're getting dragged is something that I teach my clients. So I want to make sure to highlight it here because I really think all of us have this very real fear of being canceled. And I'll be honest, if Oprah can get canceled or at least dragged, what chance do the rest of us have, right? So conceptually what they're doing is okay. They're saying if you want to donate, but you don't know where your money's going, you want to make sure it's a safe place. We've set up a space that we, you can be sure your money will go directly to the people. But that's not what they said. They said, I was reading an article about my other really super wealthy friend, and so I called this other third wealthy friend, and the three of us decided we have a way to get your money to Maui. Pretty tone deaf to the struggles that most people are going through. And they didn't talk about the people of Maui. They talked about themselves. They were the main character in this piece of content about a tragedy. The second character in this was money, something they have more of than anybody who's seeing the video. So what they should have done was make the main character, the people of Maui, and the secondary character, people who were looking for a place to donate and help a little and feel like they were part of solving this awful tra tragedy and give them a place that's a safe place to donate while noting that they had already donated substantially. When you are creating your content, you are never the main character. And that is especially true if you're doing any kind of nonprofit or community work. Don't be a business that comes on here and talks about the great stuff you're doing in the community and forget to center the community you're helping and just center how good of a job you're doing as a business. It's pretty much what they just did. And it's also troubling because Oprah could single-handedly solve this herself and not even notice the lack of money. She's a billionaire and I don't know, he's, he's a multimillionaire. Your content should never center you. It should always center the people you are here to serve and help. 
And this is a perfect example of what happens when you don't do that.